record was partially funded by the federal government, um, and I think these meaningful use um, providers, typically physicians, nurse practitioners, um, chiropractors, I believe physicians assistants, were considered um, eligible for um, a, a stepped uh, funding process whereby the federal government would help them establish an electronic health record. Um, that started in about 2011. There are a number of those physicians that sought that and, and qualified for uh, that type of uh, support. Unfortunately, substance abuse counselors or behavioral health counselors in general um, were not part of the uh, composition of the, uh, uh, prefer, uh, the providers that were eligible uh, for that meaningful use money. Uh, and I know there's a number of bills in the, sen in the uh, Senate um, still um, attempting to be more inclusive of behavioral health. I think the only uh, professional included in that were psychiatrists. But essentially those physicians that are moving more toward electronic health records, they're doing e-prescribing, in other words your prescriptions are um, through a secure portal actually sent directly to the pharmacy. There are fewer um, uh, mistakes made in um, sending that type of information. You don't have to get a written uh, prescription where the pharmacist is, is facing trying to uh, uh, understand uh, what the physician has written. And as we all know, some physicians, their handwriting are, are, uh, is uh, rather scribbled looking. Um, so what the pay, what um, a physician would do is hand you typically a card and ask you to um, uh, create your own username and password using a link 